The NFL season is winding down, and I'm here to talk about Thursday night's matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Seattle Seahawks. I'm Stephen Sobeck with WinnersAndWiners.com. As always, thanks for listening. The thing with the Rams that I'd like to point out is the fact that Jeff Fisher was fired as head coach. Interim coach and special teams coordinator Jim Fassel will take over on Thursday. A short week for the Rams. Not good, especially after a 42-14 to loss at home against the Atlanta Falcons at one point. The score was 42 to nothing at the end of the third quarter. You really can't get much worse in terms of scoring or lack thereof if you're the Rams. And they're going to face a Seattle team that is angry after losing 38-10 to in Lambeau Field last week. Russell Wilson threw five interceptions. A few of those were his receiver's fault. Some batted balls up in the air, but nevertheless... He's going to want to get back on track this week. To make matters worse for the Rams, Seattle has not lost at home this season. The last big primetime game for the Seahawks was a 40-7 beatdown of Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. The spread is pretty big on this game, 15 points, but I expect a blowout. Seattle on a short week has all the advantages. A top 10 defense, Jared Goff, will struggle yet again. He's a rookie quarterback, hasn't seen it all yet. Pete Carroll will throw everything at the rookie, and I just don't see the Rams competing in this one at all, especially with a guy that hasn't had any head coaching experience. So Seattle by at least 15 is the pick here for Thursday Night Football.